Light is very important in photography, and especially in a one shot 360 photography, because in 360 world, the light comes in all the directions to your camera. And with very good light condition, you can get a very good result straight out from the camera. And with some appropriate post process techniques you will learn in my channel, you will finally get the excellent and stunning photographs from the one shot 360 cameras. And the Ricoh Cito Z1 is a very good tool for the photographers to capture 360 world with large amount of light based on its sensor and some very interesting features such as the dual fission eye plugging. And in this video I will show you a real world example of capturing the spring blossom at night with good light, very interesting post process and the dual fish eye plugging burst mode. And now I will keep the video recording from start to finish. Uh, every step I shot with the spring blossom. At the same time, I will make a synchronized screen recorder from my cell phone so that you can see everything happening in every detail of this shooting. You can see now we have the aperture priority mode, but for single mode, uh, it is fully automatic. But for the bracket, burst, and HDRD, we can select the f2.1, f3.5, or f5.6. For the spring blossom shoot, I would rather put the, the aperture to f5.6 for the maximum depth of field. I can see I have a uh, 3 meters pole. Okay, 30 meters, two section, uh, two section of the tripod leg stick together. And I use the, the Bushman mono, mono light and the cedar pole. I stick the two carbon fiber stick together to get the three meters point of view of the spring blossom. On the top of the spring blossom, I put the selfie stick, a three meters long from the ground all the way up to the top. Now I'm going to shoot in burst mode because I can take advantage of Canon RAW Plus or I can do the composite light. So I will choose f5.6, should count as 17 with DNG output. I still trust the exposure. And I first I will put the put my light near the top. And and by doing this I will help the camera to make the exposure judging by the ambient light I put on the top of the spring blossom okay Down. Let's take another three shot. And this time it will take a longer exposure for the sky. Okay. Now, uh yeah, and now it's done. That's all that's all the shooting process of the spring blossom at night. When shooting burst mode of the dual fisheye plugin, each burst sequence will be saved into individual folders. And now uh, I have copied and pasted all the folders to my desktop PC, and I opened the Adobe Bridge. And with the help of the Adobe Camera Raw, I can post process every one of the image in a burst sequence individually. And in this case, I would not post process every image with exactly the same settings, although I will use the synchronized settings. But for some of the image that is very beautifully lighted with my light, I will make individual post process on some single shot to make it more vivid and more dramatic. And I will export all the files in TIFF format and later on stack all the TIFF files into Photoshop and perform composite lighting. Once again, with the Adobe Bridge, you can add 
multiple images as individual layers in Adobe Photoshop. As you can see, I have post process with a single click and add all imaging layers in Photoshop. And after that, I will choose several of the image sequence as the background layers for those images that are very well lighted by my LED light. So I will choose several of them as the background layers. And for the rest of the image, I will put the black layer mask to all of the images. And after that, you can see I have uh, used the layer mask to blend all the light conditions to fuse all the exposures and uh, to extract the very best moment of each flower during my light painting for the spring blossom. And now I will show you how to stitch the image directly in the Ricoh Cedar Stitcher in Lightroom. First, rename the unstitched fisheye image as one of the DNG files in the folder. And next up, just drag and drop to the Lightroom and import and add it directly in the Ricoh Cedar Stitcher. And at this time, the Ricoh Cedar Stitcher will automatically recognize the same DNG file and uh, stitch the TIFF files instead of the rest of the image. And now you can see, with the default settings of the Ricoh Cedar Stitcher, the result is already very impressive. And here I have uh, some mistakes, so I will use a patch tools to patch the arrows, and also for the some of the stitching arrows, that can be corrected in Photoshop very easily with patch and clone step tools. The spring has come with the Rico C31 and the latest dual fisheye plugin update. Not only you can capture very interesting spring blossom at night, but you can also take advantage of the camera to capture your own life in the very best moment. And I hope you can learn a lot in this video about the post process, about the light condition, and also about very interesting use case of the dual fisheye plugin. If you like this video, please consider to sum up subscribe and hit notification bell. If you dislike it, feel free to hit the dislike button twice. All right, that's all for this video. Bye.